Testing one, two, three. Warning, the following video may contain adult language and themes. Your discretion is strongly advised. If you have a problem with this, stop playing this video now. Five, four, three, two, one. You had your chance to back out. No turning back now. Hi, this is my movie review of the movie called We Are What We Are. Now, from what I know about this film, it was released recently, um, I think maybe 2013, 2000, 2010 to 2013 or something like that. And it's, I, I believe it's a remake of a foreign film of the same name. And I haven't seen that film, but if it's anything like this one, I may check it out because I really liked this movie. Um, you probably can guess what this movie's about just by the title because it plays off of that age old saying and you know what it is. And judging by the po movie poster, you can probably tell what the movie's about. Um, Basically, I really liked this movie. I really did. Um, in a nutshell, it's basically about a family whose family, who like lives in like the Deep South, I believe, or something like that. And their family history involves like a sort of Donner Party, Donner Party story, where where their ancestors were like trapped up in the mountains and they had to resort to cannibalism. So, psychos that they are, they currently practice it today. Um, and it, it's basically a father, a mother, two daughters, and a small son. And basically, um, I really like this movie. Um, I really did. Um, before I get into spoilers, how I would describe this movie is... It has really good acting. Really good direction. And for the first 30 minutes, the story does not feel like a horror movie at all. It feels like a drama. Um, and then about the 30 minute mark, it sort of becomes a horror movie, like a kind of bad horror movie, story and script wise, but it's still acted superbly and directed superbly. And then there's a really good ending that I really liked that saved this movie. Um, so I'm going to get into spoilers now. It starts out with the wife, who's about... Um, I'm just going to call them the wife, the husband, the daughters, and the son. The wife goes to the store, and she basically buys some twine, some duct tape, <laughs> razor blades, everything you'd, you'd imagine these types of people to buy, you know, cannibals. And um, she walks outside to her car, and she sees a missing persons poster, and she obviously knows where that person went. And then she sees it, and she sort of panics. She's sort of trembling a little, and then she starts coughing up like this black stuff. She passes out, hits her head on a rock, and drowns in a puddle that has started to form from the rain. Because then there's this flood that runs through the town. Um, and she dies. And basically, the family is informed of this, and the father takes it really hardly, really harshly. And basically, that's what the first 30 minutes of the movie is, I believe, I can't, if I if I'm, remember correctly. It's them, it's like a drama, you know? And me telling you that they're cannibals is not really spoiling anything, because, like I said, the first 30 minutes of this movie isn't really even a horror movie. It's just a really well-acted, really well-directed drama about this family dealing with the death of their mother. And there's a... F the, the horror elements aren't even really there, they're sort of hinted at, but you don't really see any horror elements. Like, there's, at one point in the movie, like, um, a woman is, uh, gets a flat tire, and the husband is driving down the road, and he, and he sees her, he gets out, he takes out a tire iron, and walks towards her, and then it cuts away. And then it's left to our imaginations that he abducts her, and, and takes her back to the house and locks her in the basement because yeah when in the when the father's working in his in his uh shed work shed you know there's a lock and there's a there's a cellar door you know and you can hear somebody behind it so it's all implied we don't really see any horror elements it's implied that they eat people and and um so yeah and then there's this doctor who the actor is the guy who who always plays these crazy southern guys. He's an old man and he's a doctor and um in this one he doesn't. He plays a good guy and he's basically been doing the autopsy on the mother and he finds out that she had Parkinson's disease before she died and well or signs of it. Now this comes into play later. Now and the doctor 
Um, several people are actually missing around the county. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Have gone missing. And one of them is the doctor's daughter. And so he's always, you know, trying to find clues, and he's sort of playing detective himself. And he finds a bone near a river. Uh, and he takes it to the police. And he doesn't know if it's from a human or not, but he's trying to grasp at straws because he's looking for his daughter. And the police are like, it's probably just an animal, but we'll send a deputy down to the creek to check it out. So they send this deputy down there. And he, um, this deputy has a crush on one of the daughters of the cannibal family. Um, and he's just looking around there in the creek, and he, he stops by the house of, of the cannibal family. <laughs> and he's, like, flirting with the daughter, and they go out for a walk together, because he tells the daughter what he's looking for. He, he said... You know, the doc thinks it's bodies of humans or something like that. And she's like, oh, oh, well, it could be the cemetery that's up, you know, the ways that the creek may have washed down bones. And he's like, oh, could you show me the cemetery? And she's like, sure. And they go up there <laughs> and they start having uh, sex, um, which is an odd place to have sex, cemetery. And right in the middle of it, the deputy is on top and he's killed. <laughs> The father, you know, followed his daughter there, and when they started having sex, he killed the deputy. You know, and he's and he looks like he's pissed at his daughter, but he's not really. He just tells the daughter, daughter to get back to the house, and he kills the deputy and buries the deputy. And I, it reminded me, I had flashbacks of Friday the 13th. You know, I believe there was a death where two people were having sex and one person gets killed. And I think it was reversed. I think the woman was on top, and that was pretty gruesome. In this one, it's not so gruesome. And at that point, it starts to become more of a horror movie. Um, up until that point, it had just been a drama about them coping with the mother's death, and just sprinkled in traces of horror elements, but it, it felt nothing like a horror movie. Now it starts to feel more like a horror movie. Basically, that the mother is dead now, it's basically the children's, the oldest daughter's responsibility to feed the family. So they have to go down to the cellar and kill the woman who's down there and eat them eat her for dinner. And since the the daughter has to do it, um, she has the help of the other daughter, and they're just very shooken up by it. They do it, but they don't like it, and they end up they end up eating you know dinner that night. But they start plotting to leave the father because they think he's crazy, and you know I guess they'd been eating people for years, but now that they have to actually go through with the killing, I guess they don't want to do it anymore or something. Maybe. Maybe, and I think they knew the woman they had to kill, and so I think they had a big impact on it. Probably they were just fed, you know, people, and they didn't, they didn't really know, get to know the people intimately. But they, the woman they, were, they had to kill to feed the family, I think they actually knew, so they, maybe that shook them up, and that's why they started speaking mutiny. But, but then there's that, this other plot thread where the doctor does some research and he finds out it's a special kind of, it wasn't actually Parkinson's, it was, it was a special kind of disease that's like Parkinson's, but it only it only happens in cannibalism, in tribes in New Guinea. And he's like, oh shit, you know, that's where all the people must have been going. So this, so it starts to become your typical horror movie, um, you know, with all, with, the, with bad decisions and all. Um, but like I said, like I, I want to remind you, throughout this whole movie, great acting, great directing. So he, 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 he tries to call up the deputy. He can't get the deputy, obviously. He tries to call up the sheriff. Can't get the sheriff. So he gets a gun and decides to go to the family's house on his own. You know, play vigilante. vigilante. Typical horror movie bad decision. He's not a cop. He's an old man. So um, during this time, the father notices bones out in his creek and skeletons <laughs> that are washing down. He's like, oh, shit. That must be washing down from where we buried them. And he's like, oh, crap you know, we're busted, you know, people are going to find out about this. So he's kind of really distraught, and he plans to do a whole Kool-Aid suicide with his family that night. Not tell, he's, he's going to kill his two daughters and his son during dinner. He's bas he basically puts arsenic in the food. He doesn't tell them, though. Um, one of the daughters finds out, though, through inference, she finds out, she sees an empty bottle of arsenic, and ri but she can't tell everyone because they're right about to sit down for dinner. And she's, she's sitting, they're all sitting down for dinner, they're going to say grace, they say grace, and then the little boy picks up a spoon and is about to bite into the food, and she knocks the plate away. And then the father looks at her like, like 
why did you do that? And he's, he looks at her all mad. And then, because he, he, I think he realizes that the daughter knows that he's going to poison them. And then at that moment, the door, there's a knock at the door, and it's the doctor. The doctor walks in. And, and, um, the father says, um, ch children, could you leave for a minute? I need to talk to the doctor alone. And so he's talking to the doctor. The doctor says, it's a strange thing about your wife. Um, I figured, I found out there's disease with her and it only happens with cannibals. And he immediately pulls his gun on the father, so, cause the, <laughs> the father at that point knows that the doctor knows that they're cannibals. And, and you know, and the and the doctor's like, "Did you eat my daughter?" And he and this this is a very tense scene. I really like this scene. It's very well directed, and and then the the father's just kind of bullshitting the doctor, kind of playing with him verbally, and he's slowly reaching for a gun in a drawer, um, that he got from the deputy. And what ends up happening is, uh, they have a fight. You know, the the two fight, and what happens is, the doctor gets knocked out, and the father. And the, the kids try to run away, run away, but the father chases them down, and he kills a few people on the way, and he, and he finally corners them, and he says, just come back with me, children, I love you, come back and eat dinner with me. And they, he come, they go back to the table, and they're, and they're about to eat dinner, and at that point, you know, the, the girl realizes that there's only one way she's going to get out of this, only one way she's going to be able to. And this, and, and if, you know, at that point, I thought they were going to eat the soup, she, the, the kids gave up, they were going to eat the dinner, they were going to die, and that was going to be the end. And if that happened, I would say this is a little bit above average horror movie. Um, it was it was pretty good. Um, but, there's a twist ending. I'm not going to spoil it to you, for you, but it makes sense. In my opinion, it makes sense what the, girl, what the girls do to get out of that. You know, um, it makes sense. And I thought it was awesome. I love this ending. I love this movie. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but I, I ended up liking it. This reminded me a lot of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, n not in the style, mo mostly in what it was about. Not really the directing or the style or anything like that. You know, it's a family <laughs> that eats people, pretty much. Um, it reminded me a lot of that, but in concept. Concept only. Um, like I said, how I summarize the quality of this movie, first 30 minutes, really well acted, really, really well directed, drama, not a horror movie. 30 minute mark becomes a really well acted, really well directed horror movie. Okay horror movie. And in the ending, there's a really good twist that really makes it all worth, worthwhile. And I've read on forums that some people didn't like the ending, and some people thought this diverged way too much from the original. And I'll have to watch the original if it's a lot different than this one. But I really like this movie, and I like the ending. I could defend it, but I, that would be spoiling it. I think you need to see the ending for yourself to really appreciate it. This movie's pretty graphic, though. Um, but like I said, if you've seen movies like the Saw series, or VHS, or movies like that, this shouldn't be that hard to take. Yep, really liked this movie. Would highly recommend it. It's called We Are What We Are. Check it out. There are two versions available. I may review the other one. We'll see. Okay, take it easy, people. Have a nice day.